most utilities are, are looking at how to accelerate electrification. You know, there's a lot of barriers to providing uh, electric charging. There's, you have to bring in high power, uh, it takes up a lot of space. And so the FreeWire unit is really interesting because it, it addresses all those barriers. It allows you to put a charger in in, in hours instead of months. Uh, and it's, it's redeployable, you can move it around. So they're very interested in that, as well as the future potential to use the battery to support the grid and not just charge vehicles. We have the L2 chargers, um, three kilowatt outputs, and to upgrade to 120, no brainer. We literally took the bolts off the level two charger, removed it, it was a three kilowatt, and to do that, all we did was remove the level two uh, unit, just bolt it down. There were three lines already in place because it was a 240 unit. Boost charger, the one we're putting in here, is a 2083 phase, so all the electrician did was run five lines, three for 208, one for ground, one for safety, up through the conduit from the breaker panel downstairs. On a 100 amp breaker, we brought the line up and set that up, and then we took a forklift, took the boost charger from over this side, lined it up uh, with the bolt holes, and dropped it on top, and then torqued down the, uh, the nuts on it. And uh, now we're in the process of taking the five lines for the 2083 phase, connecting it to our terminal block, and we'll flip on power and boost will be up and working. So literally in about three hours, we'll have this thing up and charging EVs, start to finish. And that's what we designed Boost for, is low infrastructure, no changes with respect to maintenance or other issues that we have to do with digging up the ground. You just literally run bolts on the ground, drop the unit on top, 240 or 208, and you're ready to rock and roll.